Well, I found the boys, they're hard at it here, collecting a few beach worms. And uh, there's no doubt when you're fishing the beach, live beach worms, live anything, are, are great for bait, but live beach worms on the beach, uh, where it starts, stops and ends, they're just, this is fantastic. Brim whiting, flathead, uh, mulloway, salmon, everything loves them. And uh, this man down here, he's pretty damn good at catching them. Well, beach worms have got to be the best bait when it comes to beach fishing, especially uh, fresh beach worms. So I'm here with Kane and Harry, and getting a few lessons on how to catch them, and uh, Kane is a dead set expert when it comes to it. Watch him here in motion, here we go. Fingers into the sand. And up it comes. You make it look right. easy, buddy. Hey? No, it's, it's easy if you practice. Easy if you practice. The first yeah. thing we need is something. So we've got an old the salmon there. Yeah. So that's putting the sand in the water as the water washes back, and that's what brings their heads up that bit of a log. Spot on. But that's really like, the salmon's good bait. Um, tuna, pilchards, any, any, any anything, smell. anything that's oily but not too rotten. Some people like really rotten stuff, but. Generally, your life leaves you after. No, that one's <laughs> Fresh is better. Now, all we're looking for really is that water runs out. We're looking for that little head to poke up, and you'll see the, the, the well, I guess, a little V there where, yeah. the, where the water's rushing past. Oh, that fella right there. Yes. All right, let's see how, show us how it's done, mate. Oh, he's back here. Out he comes. But he's a bit small. He's a little bloke, that one. That's a sensational looking beach worm. I didn't catch it, Kane caught it. I'm happy to say that he's so good at doing it. He's got his young son there, Harry, teaching him what to do. Like all these worms, you want to put them on head first or they'll segment up. And uh, that, look at that wriggling around. There is no fish swimming out there that wouldn't take a bite at that. You make it look easy, but it's not that easy, I've got to say. Oh, just. Yeah, practice it, is a real technique, there's a real art to it. Anyone who's ever seen anyone catching beach worms on the beach and had a go and themselves and failed, you know, straight away, it's, it's a difficult thing to do. I've, I've, seen, I've seen grown men cry, <laughs> crawling around on their hands and knees, going like, hey, why can't I catch them? What, what aren't you telling me? And what's the best way, once you catch the worms, what's the best way to store them, do you think? Just uh, a bit of damp sand or? No, if you're going to use them straight away, um, just fresh dry sand. Fresh dry cool, sand, yep. And then roll them in that, makes them easier to put on the hook. Yep. And then if you want to store them, um, soak them in metho. Yep, okay. And then just sort of rinse them off in fresh water first and then soak them in metho for about 10 minutes. Yep. Pull them out and, uh, yeah, and then just pack it to that. Method worms are most probably the, they're better bait. They throw them up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Right. They don't smell real good when you put them on your hook, but they, um, but the fish will eat them. Yeah. If you find you're catching worms in a section of the beach here, there's a pretty good chance that the predatory fish, the fish you want to catch, are just out the back of the break. If the, the food's here and the tide's coming in, of course those fish are going to come in, certainly as the light drops, and, uh, and feed on the worms that are here anyway. So don't catch all your worms here and go three beaches across, chances are the fish are just out there. So you wave the bait, let him grab hold of it, then you can put the fingers on the sand, start pulling the bait away, or move your finger forward. The arch is up, grab hold of you, and they slide straight out. <laughs> it's the only way I can catch one to get one off you. <laughs> Kane, are they all the exact same worm, or is there different species of no, worms? So I'm led to believe there's four main, four species of them. All oh, right. And uh, there's your big king worm, yep. which uh, they'll grow up to about a six inch of thumb. Wow. And about that long. Right. And they're really good dewy baits, but they're hard to pull out of the sand. Yep. And then you've got your shorties, which are these worms. And they're just a short, stumpy worm that'll get up to about as thick as your little finger. Yep. And then you've got your slimy worms, which are long and skinny and slimy. And they're still good bait, but they break up a little bit more. Okay. And then you get these little tiny, wiry, crazy ones that are really easy to catch, but they throw their head out of the sand and wiggle around like a crazy, uh, crazy okay. worm. And um, they're very wiry, and I don't like them for bait, so I just let them go. But they're really good to practice on because they come out of the sand. Now there's a bag limit of beach worms. You can't just come down here and take thousands and thousands of them. So check your local fisheries regulations. Certainly only take what you need for your fishing session and, uh, and just make sure you don't go over those limits because there will be fines implied if you do go over that.